So I hope y'all having a great day. My name is Shapoa Walker and this is my channel, Convos Canvas Christ, where we have some good convos, show some artwork out there, but they all have a Christ-centered message perspective. And I just love sharing my heart with people and especially for today's topic, talking about freedom. And this is based off a poem I wrote my poetry book. And as I was writing that poem um, back then, it's just, you know, it just reminded me that I am free. You know, I'm not bound by my past. I'm not bound by what people said to me back then. I am free and I can move forward. So I'm going to just share a few thoughts with y'all. How does it feel to leave the past behind? What type of person have you grown to be after you cut off the toxic friends, the toxic lovers? Do you plan to achieve more after letting go of the negative mindsets? Freedom is a beautiful space to live in because you are no longer connecting yourself to dead things. Moving on is a blessing. And it may not seem like that in the beginning, but that peace will soon encompass you as you continue to move forward. This is a constant reminder that I have to give myself as I continue to move forward in my own life. I made a decision to move on. I made a decision to stop. I made a decision to surrender. And when I surrendered those wrong things, no matter what it was or who it was, I began a beautiful friendship with peace. So if you are struggling with letting go and getting over the past, let me share some encouraging words with you. First, drop the dead weight. Do not regret the decision to break away. Ladies, let's be real. Romantic relationships seem to be a pitfall for many. We refuse to acknowledge the red flags and oftentimes stay in the wrong relationship too long until a baby comes forth, abuse becomes life-threatening, or we literally lose everything connected to us. We have to be honest with ourselves when it comes to the choices we make in life. If you know this is not good for you, drop it. Yes, feelings may get hurt, but it's not worth sacrificing my peace over. The day you finally recognize that you are worth more is the day freedom can meet you. Do not feel bad for leaving a relationship that was not meant for you. Do not feel bad for moving away from a place that caused nothing but trouble for you. Do not feel bad for changing your lifestyle because you know, now you know, clubbing every night and sleeping around with every guy that said hello to you almost drained every bit of hope out of you. So make the decision to break away from whatever is holding you back. And the second thing, you are no longer the old you. Embrace the new. I cannot change a person's opinion about me. If they are still referring to me based on my past, then I have to respectfully let them live there as I respectfully move on. I understand that some of us women had some really crazy lifestyles back then, and you know, you still feel haunted by the names they called you, like crazy baby mama, whore, nobody, no good, man stealer, and the list goes on. And it's not saying that you, you know, oh, you're right to do those things that you did back then. No, they were still wrong. But although you have changed your ways and got back on the right track, there is still that little voice telling you, you have not changed. Do not fall for a lie. Do not go back to your old ways and lose everything that you work hard for, like your healing, restoration, good opportunities, business. And for me, when I finally got serious about my life and surrendered my heart to Jesus Christ, that day became my freedom from the past and everything and everyone that is connected to that past. My job now is to maintain that freedom by not looking back. When the past starts calling, remind that thing that you changed your name and your new name is free. So I hope that helps somebody out there that freedom is a real thing. You can gain freedom, you can live in it, but make sure you maintain it by letting go of the what? The past. Y'all have a great day.